recently I was playing around with the Go Kubernetes SDK and as some of us know, and if you don't, this is a really great lesson to think about. Anytime you interact with Kubernetes, you're interacting with an API and because you're interacting with an API, you can literally use any type of way to do it. So what I have here is Go code to create a Kubernetes deployment. Now, typically 9.5 times out of 10, you see a Kubernetes manifest that does this for you, right? Well, in this case, I have this Go code that creates a deployment for us. So it looks up the cube config in your home directory. It builds a client from that cube config. And then here's your spec here. So as you can see, I'm specifying apps v1. So the core group, I'm specifying the deployment resource. I'm giving it a name, I'm giving it replicas. I'm even specifying the name of the container and the container image that I want to use. And then it goes and it creates it for me. Now this is really cool, but one of the awesome things that I learned pretty recently was that instead of having a GitOps solution like Argo CD look at a Kubernetes manifest in YAML, I can have it look at the Kubernetes manifest in my Go code. So I have Argo running right now. As you can see, I have an Argo deployment. I just recently actually gave this a shot and it worked, but let's go ahead and just try it out again. So I have Argo up and running here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this command. So it's the Argo CD app create command. I'm gonna give it a name here. So I'm actually gonna call it demo, Nginx deployment demo. I'm gonna to point to my repo. So this is where the code that I'm showing right here on the screen lives. The path is codify hyphen kas hyphen manifest slash go hyphen kas hyphen client as we can see here and then my destination is the default namespace so let's go ahead and try to run this again what i'm doing is instead of using a standard kubernetes yaml manifest i wrote the same resource in go code and i'm having argo cd point to the go code instead of pointing to a kubernetes manifest in yaml Okay, and as you can see, the application was created. Let's head over to Argo. Let's refresh our browser and boom, as we can see, this app is up and running. It is synced. I think this is awesome. I think this is a really great way to, if you have any reason to move away from Kubernetes manifest. So you know what, guess what? Sometimes a developer may wanna create a Kubernetes manifest in the language of their choosing, but they may wanna use a GitOps solution to do that. But typically, anytime you see a GitOps solution used, it's pointing to some Kubernetes manifests via YAML. But in this case, you can point to it via Go code.